We're with the 1966 Monkey Mobile. This is one of two that they made for the show. This was actually on the show. It's an original car. This is it, the real thing. I bought this about five and a half years ago at the Barrett Jackson auction in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm very proud of this car. I loved it since I was a little kid. I used to watch reruns of this show after school when I would come home. Just always thought this was the coolest car ever. Uh, never ever dreamed that I would own this car, but fortune was with me and things just worked out amazing. I didn't even know this car was going to be in the auction. Somebody, I went to a Christmas party. Somebody gave me a Barrett Jackson catalog and as they handed it to me they said there's a few things in here that are pretty cool. There's a Batmobile, the uh, Beverly Hillbillies Jalopy and the Monkey Mobile. And uh, it was like, took me two weeks of debating, should I go and then, no, I'll never be able to afford it. I decided if I didn't go and at least try, I'd hate myself if I was watching on TV and I could have afforded it. I ended up winning. I was on a mission. <laughs> well, it started out life as a 66 Pontiac GTO convertible. It was a uh, greenish blue color. Uh, so it's been heavily modified. Um, they put these lights on that were French because back then all headlights were round and I think that was even the law. And uh, they cut out the hood and swooped it down. They put added the nose and these flares. And they've added flares in the back and pretty neat long tail lights in the back and they cut out the trunk and added a seat back there. Uh, the car isn't exactly as it was in the TV show. If you look, uh, you'll see it started out as a champagne color. The car was originally done by Dean Jeffries and uh, he also did the Black Beauty from the Green Hornet car or television show. And uh, he also did a, car, a vehicle called Landmaster from a TV or a movie called Damnation Alley, uh, which was released on the same day, I think, as Star Wars, so it kind of got lost. But uh, the car was champagne colored, and uh, I, when I bought it from George Barris, he had the thing restored to a 100 point show car just bef before I bought it. He changed the interior and the top to white and he added a modern sound system which uh, is kind of a, uh, I got a car that was customized by two famous awesome customizers. I thought about putting it back to original but you know what, having two guys customize your car is pretty cool. And if you rode in this car and heard the sound system, you would not want to get rid of it. It is fantastic. I have autographs by all of the monkeys except one, and that's Mike Nesmith. I tried last spring to get it, uh, he turned me down. It's mind blowing, I'm so proud of it. It, it gets so much attention. <laughs> Seriously, you feel like you're a movie star because so many people are taking pictures of the car when you drive down the street. And it, I mean, just rows of people will stand up to take pictures and they'll run out in front and stop you to take your picture. It's really an excellent experience. <laughs> I'm thinking I was probably around 11 or 12 and watching reruns. I don't think my parents would let me watch this kind of stuff. <laughs>